Thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, tonight is a special celebration, in particular because this year Gauss is celebrating 10 years of its existence, and it's amazing to see how the university has progressed over 10 years. Just this year alone, we had many, many awards for our faculty. We had a professor who has been elected into the National Academy of Inventors in the United States. We have a professor who has been named an IEEE Fellow. We have a professor who has been named a Fellow of the Optical Society in the United States. And I could actually go on and on and on. And I don't mean to slight anybody by not mentioning them and all their awards, but it will actually take us perhaps an hour just to go over every award that has been awarded this year. This success is a result of a vision that was set by King Abdullah, maybe may his soul be in peace, more than 10 years ago, to build a university whose model of operation is not like anything else in the world. And today, this promise is continuing to be fulfilled as year after year, we are celebrating the best achievement of all, which is to graduate top-notch talent that are going to go and make a difference in this world, whether in the kingdom or outside. Now, for the students, I want you to remember the day you came in at Gaust. And look back at what you have achieved and the difference that you have managed to make between the level you came in and the level you are going out with. It actually will bring the sweetness of what you have achieved more vividly into your mind. And now that you're about to get on with your careers, allow me to give you a few words of advice. What we have imparted with you is not really knowledge, because this knowledge is going to change over time. But we have given you tools, hopefully, to be able to continue in a lifetime of education, self-education, and self-improvement. Because, especially in our fields, in the four programs that we have at SEMSI, things move very, very fast. What I studied 35 years ago is absolutely worthless today. And you, 10, 20 years from now, you are going to look back at what you have done and you're going to wonder that was back in prehistoric times. That's the nature of our field and therefore you need to be always on top of your game. But another important component for the success in your career, no matter where you go, is going to be the kind of connections that you have built here. You are going to benefit from your relationships with your peers, with your advisors, especially during the beginning of your career. Today, I continue to be in touch with my own, my old colleagues, and it is a tremendous boost to my efforts. It helps you figure out how to channel your technical advances and your technical success into career level success. So give this advice, keep in touch with us and keep in touch with your advisors. I also would like the graduating students to give a hand to the faculty, thanking them for all the diligent effort that they have spent in training you. So let's give it to the faculty. <laughs> Keep in mind also that as you are graduating from here, work ethics is always a mantle that you have to keep in your mind. It's very easy to try to really get to the shortcut, but over the long run, and I have been now 35 years in this business, 
I can tell you that on the long run, only the quality and the true effort actually managed to make it. Now, this year, we are inaugurating a new tradition to recognize some of the excellent work that has been done. In addition to celebrating you, the students, we are also going to celebrate some of the faculty who have distinguished themselves in teaching and in service. So this year, we are going to celebrate two professors with the teaching award. The teaching award was actually nominated by you, the students, and it was vetted by the faculty. The first winner, I'm glad to announce, is Professor Hakan Bakshi. <laughs> Professor Hakan, besides being the advisor or the co-advisor of NOHA, he does work in fundamental research in electromagnetics. His work, despite of being extremely theoretical, has been featured in mainstream media, articles in Le Monde in Paris, and other places have celebrated his research. He got his PhD from the University of Illinois, and he has been with us now for the 10 years that Gauss has existed. Hakan. The next winner is Professor Talal al -Attar. Professor Talal got his PhD from Stanford University in the United States. And there is a little bit of a problem with his award tonight, because this is the second award that he got. He won the inaugural university level teaching award two years ago. And if he continues like this, there will be a problem with Monopoly. So, Talal, give your other colleagues a chance. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, the Faculty Service Award celebrates a professor who devotes his time, or part of his time, to serving the community at large. And tonight, we're happy that the winner of this award is Professor Khalid Salama. <clears throat> Professor Khalid Salama got his PhD from Stanford. He has been with Kaut since its inauguration and even before then. If today we have students from Kazakhstan, from Vietnam, from Brazil, it is due to his diligent and continuous promotion of cows throughout the world. He has logged a lot of miles. He has spent too many nights in cold hotel rooms just to recruit, not for himself, but for Kaust at large. And today, we have pipelines of students coming from places that didn't hear about Kaust before he went to them. And he did not do this just for himself, or the electrical engineering program, or SEMSI. He did it for Kaust. He is actually one of our most successful student recruiter and Kaust promoters. And in recognition for this, he received the highest number of votes among the faculty when I asked for the selection of the service award. So Khaled, congratulations. And then, the service award for the staff. 
We pride ourselves in SEMC in being an, a very efficient and a relatively small team operation. Our team is probably one of the smallest in terms of administration or administrative staff across the university, but I am really happy that all of them perform at a very high level. The role of staff is critical to the success of faculty and success of students. Without the diligent effort behind the scenes, making sure that everything is being taken care of, whether it's a new machine that needs to be procured, or a travel form, or protect you from some of our friends at Gauss, they actually do this and they do it diligently and usually quietly. And I asked for the faculty to vote for what they think or for who they think is the most dedicated staff in terms of service. And the results were very interesting. Every faculty was nominating the person that they deal with most of the time. There was no clear majority. Everybody likes what they are getting in terms of the service from the people that they are interacting with. So tonight, I decided that instead of picking a particular staff member to win, I'm going to really give it to the entire staff in recognition for all the help and all the diligent effort that they have given to the division. So, if you wouldn't mind, can you give the staff a hand? All right, and last but not least, there are many people who have worked very hard to make this night possible, and I would like to thank them, whether they are from the staff, or from the volunteers, or even from the ex-staff. Heba is somewhere around here. She actually started planning this before she retired, and uh, I'm really grateful for everybody who has made an effort to make this uh, to make this night a uh, success. So, thank you very much. And now, with this, you got the last pieces of advice from me to the students. And I hope that you are going to go out and succeed. Make us all proud of you. Let us hear about your successes. And please do not forget to register with the Office of Alumni Affairs here at KAUST. It will keep you in touch with the university, and trust me, it's going to be a very small investment that will be rewarding for you to keep in touch with everybody here. Thank you.